Hey, good morning. It's uh, 6.30 here in Maryland. I'm, I've just woken up. I'm wearing my, my beast cast pajamas, uh, which is appropriate actually today, because uh, I have to drive three and a half hours to go see a man about a horse. Okay, so what's the deal? Um, well, uh, as you might have seen, there have been a bunch of uh, previews for Red Dead Redemption going online over the past um, 24 hours. I think the embargo lifted or something. The PR manager for Rockstar uh, is mate of mine. He was actually the guy who put me in contact with Knox and them at Hillbilly Agenda for the uh, Grand Theft Auto uh, online documentary when I was, I was brainstorming about doing something community focused and he was like, ah, do I have a story for you? So they're not exactly the type of company that do <laughs> investigative documentaries about their games. Um, but he does know that I've been uh, on paternity for two weeks and uh, would love to get out of the house. And he also knows that I'm a huge fan of Rockstar open world games. So he's invited me up to play it. I couldn't play it last week because I hadn't finished paternity. So this is kind of like the earliest opportunity I've had to do it. It also gives me the opportunity to pop into my good friends at uh, Giant Bomb East. Uh, to do a quick look for a European sports game. So that's why I've been playing quite a lot of Pro Evolution 2019 this week. All right, we are, uh, what are we? We're, we're two hours 30 to go. So we're uh, an hour and 15 minutes in, I guess. Gonna arrive there with about 45 minutes to spare to get some parking and head to Giant Bomb. I'm at Royal Farms, so I'm gonna check out uh, check out the quality of gas they've got here. Uh, and then I'm gonna load up on food. I've not had breakfast. And because I'm on this weird keto diet, there's like very specific things I can eat. So I'm not really sure if Royal Farms is the right, right place to go. It's no Wawa, it's no sheets. Um, but I'm probably just gonna load up on soda and coffee anyway, so. I'm all parked up in New York City. Um, it's always so weird parking here because you just walk, drive up to a car park and leave the keys in the ignition and walk away. Um, I managed to park a block from CBS though, uh, which is really cool. So um, I turned up with 10 minutes to go until the appointment with the dudes, but uh, thankfully I managed, I can't believe I managed to get parking within a block of where I needed to be in New York, so I can't complain. Yeah, yeah. Hey, buddy! Oh, hello. Hey. <laughs> it was a pretty quick uh, trip to CBS in Indiana. I got about 30 minutes to get down. Um, I don't know, 20 blocks of Manhattan. I think last time I did this, it took like 25 minutes um, to get to Rockstar. Great to see the guys. Um, got to play some Pro Evolution soccer, which was fun because the guys hadn't really played a Pez game before, or maybe they did like three years ago, the last time I quick looked one, I, I can't remember. Um, but uh, yeah, it was great to see the guys. They're, they're, they're good people. Dan is uh, coming down to Maryland oh, in yeah. a couple of weeks time, um, which should be fun. Great to see Vinny and talk about dad stuff. Made me feel super old. Uh, I got to see Alex and Abby as well. It's weird, I listen to the Beast cast every week. So it's always weird to be meeting people who you feel like you've kept up with you know, for the past six months, I think was the last time I, I visited. So yeah, um, I'm gonna try and grab some quick food somewhere and then I've gotta go uh, check out Red Dead Redemption 2. I've read a bunch of previews, I've listened to a bunch of podcasts about it and I've got some questions that weren't really answered on those that I gotta wanna get some uh, extra details on. So we'll see how it goes. Hello friends, hello from the Walt Whitman <laughs> service area of the beautiful New Jersey Parkway. What is it with Americans and naming uh, just boring things after celebrated poets? Anyway, um, it's been about two hours since I left New York. The traffic was bonkers. I've still got another two hours and change probably uh, before I get home. Um, so I want to do that while the, the, well I was about to say while well, the sun is still up. 
that's already passed. Um, maybe get home before my daughter goes to sleep. God, I'm a dad, it's so weird. I have a lot of thoughts about Red Dead. I'm gonna put a video together after I've digested what I think I have, I'm feeling coming away from this, um, which is that this is, it's an evolutionary step in open world design, but it's, it is in ways that we don't really have the vocabulary for yet. The game is d richer and deeper and, and it's closer. It's, it's played on a more micro level and the emergent nature of the game is sort of elevated because of all the ways in which you can interact and also the weird memory the game has. And then the other thing that's that's part of that whole equation is is the, the leveling of the playing field when it comes to the importance of things. Like it's not like there's a main quest and side quests and then things like there, I'm sure there are, but it's that the activities that aren't maybe part of what would be the main narrative are as important and as textured so it was it was like playing a game where i wasn't really sure what was the important stuff like everything felt important one really silly example was i was riding on my horse and there was just this dude in a field um like he had a lantern on his horse but he was like going through the field and i wandered up to him and he kept telling me to go away so eventually i just went away and then i heard him shoot his gun and he was like did you see that he shouted back to me and i went over and he had just like killed a coyote i think it was something like that and he skinned it and i said um wow i was like good you're a really good shot or something i said to him you can with the contextual thing you can say things like positive things negative things or threaten people or or threaten to to mug them or whatever and he was like yep hi that you know sure was and then he was like, all right, I'm gonna be on my way. And like, that was it. Like there was no, I could have, like if I wanted to, I could have stolen the pelt probably or killed his horse or, or done whatever. But the, the, the interaction felt so genuine and normal that it made me not want to do that. Like it, it feels less video gamey. That's kind of what I'm, what I'm getting away, getting out of this. It feels less video gamey because the words and ideas that I have to explain how video games work and how the puppet strings work I don't understand how they work in this one. It feels new, and that's really exciting for somebody who's been playing and enjoying open world games for a long time, and who's kind of gotten used to how these things work, which I think we all have. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna say for now. It's a really good game, like it's a really good game. If you like Red Dead, if you like Rockstar Games, this, it plays like it plays like one of those. But it's 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 richer, or more textured. I don't know what the words are. It's not immersion, it's not believable open world, it's not realistic, because it is a game, it, it, it's a video game, definitely. But it's just that the system that's there, the AI and the way the narrative works and all the depth that they have in various different parts of it, is creating an experience that feels new. The coolest thing that might have happened was I bumped into a guy who was carrying a sack of potatoes and he tripped up and he he like totally covered himself in mud and was so pissed at me. And it wasn't it wasn't like it wasn't like a quick time or it was just like I was I accidentally bumped into him and he was so pissed. And I tried to like calm him down and he was like yeah whatever. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I'll, I'll do a video about it in the next couple of days and try and succinctly talk about it. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go into the, uh, I'm gonna go in and check in with my boy Whitman here uh, and try and get some coffee or something and uh, get get home safe in the next two hours. Uh, thanks for joining me on this uh, this little journey to New York, to the Wild Wild West, um, and I'll see you next time.